down in dark. Well, we were actually surprised that he wanted to enlist. Um, he had completed the two courses and graduated from Hawking College with two degrees in wildlife management and aquaculture. So we thought he was going to pursue that. Curtis was always a very outgoing young boy, even when he was little. He was very friendly. He loved people. Um, he grew up on a farm, and I think that gave him some really good values. And I think he, he learned from early on that the animals have to be cared for, and that was important. And uh, he had a very caring nature, very gentle for as big a guy as he was. <laughs> The day that it happened, he was actually going up on that hill to help someone. Fire. He was there to keep them from coming here. That was a lot of, I think in his mind, what his mission was, to keep us safe. I think they're what I call the salt of the earth kind of people. Um, I mean, they're farmers, you know, they're from this area. They're what I like to think of as, you know, the backbone of the nation. And it seems like they're the, the types that are always called on you know, to make the sacrifices. So my office faces out on this beautiful memorial uh, that's been dedicated to Curtis Oaks, one of our graduates. and. Uh, a member of our community who gave it all in service to our country. And so every day I'm reminded and inspired that we should do everything that we can here at Hawking College to serve our veterans. Um, veterans, helping veterans is the way it should be. And understand, you know, a lot of vets deal with certain things, whether it's school, home life, and anything. You know, if you just want someone to talk to and hang out with, you know, come hang out with us. Here in the, the Hawking Hills, um, it kind of lends itself to being a little more relaxed um, and enjoyable for that, for that type of person. It seems like there's more opportunities using our uh, military backgrounds to come to school here and it gives us more credits and stuff towards a degree and what we want to do rather than just go to a regular university. Um, there's a, the memorial there. Uh, there's a scholarship in his name that's awarded for NRC students every year, and that's all friends um, that want to keep his memory alive and, and honor him and his life. Not, not the day in November we all lost him, but the life that came before that. His nickname was Moose, and he lived up to that. He was big, he was brave. Um, yeah, it was, that's what made us extra proud of him, is he was doing it for all the right reasons, and I think so many of them are. They're not there for glory. They're not, they don't want to be heroes. We didn't want Curtis to be a hero. We just wanted him to be Curtis. So the first Veterans Day that I celebrated here on this campus, I had the chance to meet Valerie, Curtis Oak's mother. You know, I hugged her for her sacrifice, and, um, but it also inspired me to make sure that what we're doing here at this campus will serve our veterans every single day. If you're a veteran going through anything, you need to reach out. You, you can't let it eat up at you. Whether it's uh, drug abuse, alcohol abuse, uh, thoughts of suicide, anything. You get out there, you talk to somebody. We're, we're tired of losing people. Survival ward, there's, there's no reason for it. Curtis was an amazing person, but he was, you know, he was our son and he, he gave us such joy in life. Um, it's hard to put into words how much he means to us still, but um, he was the type of son that wasn't ever ashamed to kiss his mom. Any parent wants for their child is for them to be happy, be good people certainly, but Curtis had that covered already, so 
Um, and he was happy and he brought a lot of happiness to everyone around him. So I guess I'd like people to know that. Start and blame.